Welcome back everybody, I'm APH, and we've got some big things planned. We have some big things planned. First off, the aqueduct over here. I've, I've extended out the actual perimeter uh, so we can start building there, as well as I've marked up the area over here to be cleared. Now, my goal is to kind of bring it up to this mountain and maybe bring it over this way. And then maybe loop it around the back side of the mountain and then kind of come back over here where we're going to pick it back up. Now, I'm not sure if if this is going to be the end of the actual aqueduct or if for now I'm just going to cap it here. Uh, but I know in the future I want a district right here kind of on this mountaintop. Kind of following the same theme as what we were talking about for up here where we do kind of a mountain temple. And I have also plotted out this area right here and to help with the fact that our our walkway ends right here. Uh, trying to create a little bit of a, a shorter path. Let's uh now that those trees are removed, let's get our, our actual walkway in there. There we go. Cause right now this area is red and it stops right here, which means they won't be able to build this total section. So this is kind of our, our go-to solution for the time being. Let's go ahead and raise this up one more this episode. And that brings us to over here. Uh, this is going to be a little bit of the work in progress today because this area is once it starts flowing over this edge, which I mean, if we look at the water, I got to zoom in really close there to see that this edge of the water is literally kissing the surface there. So it's going to be coming over into this as soon as we close off that reservoir a little bit, a little bit further. Now, the next drought is in 1.6 days, so I don't think we've got to worry about it this cycle. But that means next cycle, it's going to be an issue. Now let's get our actual where, uh, staircase up and let's bring in our roads. These trees, unfortunately, do have to go. And we're going to place some potato farms there in the future. And I need more planks over here. And I think this has to be a sooner than later type of thing. Uh, we could squeeze one here. And I think the, uh, these will be temporary just to kind of get us what we need. Yeah, let's do something like that. And let's connect that up so that I don't forget about it. I don't think I can squeeze one here. I might be able to squeeze one here. So if I did something, a lumber mill, yeah, we'll do this. We'll, we'll place it that way and we'll place a, a wheel and a, an actual, uh, let's get that facing the right way. And an intersection kind of this way. Now, hopefully the, the beeves, well, you know what? I'll, I'll prioritize these up. I'll let them build and then I'll put that, uh, that bend in there. I might have to send a couple beavers over here from another district because if I look, Got no unemployed right now. Uh, so we'll probably have to bring four over from another area just to kind of get this going. And But I think that this uh, this extra lumber will help with kind of our projects going forward. Alright, let's uh, prioritize this to the top so that it can get going. We'll want a road up to probably about there. And in the future what's going to happen is we're going to place a levee this way. And create a waterfall into here but it's only going to be too wide so it can escape if need be but that will be what fills this after we after we finish the the actual dam itself because that is the aqueduct gets built up this area is going to get closed off which means we're going to have to get water from a different source and we should unpause these these breeding pods i had them all I'll pause because we were having an issue. Oh, they're actually going up top to do their construction. That's funny. All right, we've got this one just lacking power, but it's all ready for us, so we can get our power going fairly simple. There you go. Excellent, excellent. And this area is all ready. So we're going to need gears over here because we're going to want at least two water tanks and some houses probably this will this area is going to be a it's going to be a permanent district 
But the start of it is going to be a temporary district where we place kind of some oddball things just to get it up and going. Uh, because this is going to be the district, as I said, that encompasses this area up here. So it's going to start here and it's probably going to migrate this way as we kind of get going. Not exactly sure because we're going to probably leave you up to here and, and connect it with the actual reservoir at some point in time. So just kind of a for the future type of thing as we will definitely need. We should build on the actual water. Uh, we're going to need something like this across here. Oops, a little too far there. Uh, we'll correct that in just a moment. Man, I am just not having it with the clicking today. Uh, but this is kind of what we're going to do around the actual uh, lake there. We're going to bring it up to one higher than this level right here in total. I'll probably do that off camera so you guys aren't watching me for 10 minutes trying to fiddle with putting all those in. Uh, we're going to need a lumber mill over here as well as a farm down here. The farm can wait until that gets cleared and we'll need an actual water. Uh, so this isn't going to be as pretty of an episode as last episode. As I was more focused on cosmetics last episode, this episode is going to be more uh, focused on function. We'll get those down to get water for this area. And the next will be we will need a, a grill. We're going to start with potatoes. Uh, so we'll get a grill and... Probably a, a lumber mill over here would be my guess. This will probably be the start. Once all this area is is built up, then we'll we'll break it away. Yeah, let's do the power wheel. Uh, let's try to put that in the right spot. Thank you, game. Big hesitation there, and it dropped it right in the wrong spot. So this game is early access for anybody who might be seeing this episode for the first time. And I do get some quirky bugs, like sometimes it will be a big, big hesitation. Just kind of in that waiting game where we're waiting. Ooh, they're starting to build the houses. That's amazing. I think I need gears over here. Yeah, no gears on the list, so we'll get some transferred over. There we go. And so at some point in time, I placed in these the wet work for our electric and when I loaded my save file today uh, none of it was actually in there uh, so I rebuilt it and they actually built it very quickly which is nice uh, so that's all ready to go and and I really <laughs> I gotta say I like the way this turned out and I'm really I'm ready for this to kind of come together to where we are we're We've got this area closed up. Uh, let's bring... At least for right now. Let's bring this up to... Oh, I did the wrong thing. Doing dams instead of levies. Let's uh, delete those out. At least for right now, let's bring this up to the height that we want it. So that as we're closing this up, it will create kind of our pathway. And then when we're ready, we can delete this section out. And either way, if we do turn it, we're going to not be placing a water wheel there in the future. And then we got to figure out something for this so we can we can start to close this up. I don't want to place them over here, which could be a temporary fix. Yeah, I guess we could do that where we... Bring our ramp over... Yeah, we could bring a ramp over here and then get rid of the gatehouse, bring it further over. I guess we'll plot this in. We will do kind of like that and kind of like that. Uh, we could probably get rid of this wooden stair for the time being. We'll probably place our gatehouse right there. Uh, we'll get rid of the, the actual gate for the time being so that we can place this. And then we'll try to build our our actual pumps over here as kind of a temporary fix. 
because they're going to have to move on top of the reservoir at some point in time. That or they'll have to move over here. One or the other. Uh, either way, it's got to be a thing. And we can unpause these now, which is which is amazing. Thank you guys for not getting stuck on really dumb stuff. We'll just have to watch this one up here. Yeah, let's pause that one so they don't get stuck up there. And we should possibly... So as this gets empty, we're close. We'll be able to start kind of our transition of moving these over and closing this section up. I just don't think I have enough room here for kind of what I want to do. And then, then that section up to here will be done and they're going to, yeah, they're starting on that. That's, that's amazing. All right. Now over here. Uh, we've got these not connected, which is fine, and I guess we can connect them now, and they can start filling them preemptively, and we can do our deco on them. And just a little bit of some floral. Excellent, and we're missing just our, our power wheel, which is okay. Let's pause this so we don't get people moving in there. They are just not wanting to build that. The other thing that they're not wanting to do is we need this prioritized up. Because in order to make this happen, we got to get rid of those trees to get that all switched over to, to potatoes. And I really want this, uh, this district to be done. It's going to be District 10, and it's going to stay District 10 for a while. All right, that looks a little bit better. It's all fixed. I put the ramp up. We probably place a road in there that will... They'll kind of tie it in. They finished the, the wheel and they're starting to fill up the water. And we've got our grill over here. So the next thing on the, the agenda list is actually getting our farm in here. And I do want to kind of place a storage underneath the farm. And then we're going to, from there, man, I want to place it that way. I don't want them to fill it with dumb stuff. Yeah, we'll just have to risk it. And we'll place our farmhouse this way. We'll need an, a walkway up to it. Yeah, we can work with that. We'll we'll do the two like that. That way we can place... A, let's place a, an actual flower in here. Yeah, I think that looks good. And we should prioritize this up too. Because as soon as we get this, uh, this all ready and get it going, which we're going to let this go... As soon as we get this up and going, we can turn this into its own district. Now, let's plant our, our potatoes over here. It'll look amazing. And we're ready to connect our water. But we're just kind of waiting on this district being its own. Uh, the next thing that we're going to need over here is this area is ready for, for harvesting. And we're going to need some lumberjacks for the district. We'll go... Probably one more right there in the future, but for right now, I think that will kind of work. Uh, we're going to have to remove some trees kind of getting over there. Maybe we'll see if this one will cut that tree. Nah, I think that will take too long. Oh man, as quick as they could build that, they uh, started filling it up with just everything under the sun. And they even put planks in there. That's kind of okay. As planks are kind of our biggest issue at the moment, just trying to get our our actual uh, aqueduct done. Speaking of that, they are starting to to just rip through this section over here, which is exactly what we wanted. The walkway is done, and if we look, this was uh, solid and it ended somewhere around here. And now this is a uh, this is still going pretty strong, so I'm pretty happy with that uh, that idea. the The staircase that wraps around is more space efficient than a staircase that's drawn out but in terms of pathway efficiency the straight staircase is better uh, that would be my my tip of uh this episode Ooh, uh what do we have here let's uh let's detonate this and we'll we'll kind of go into the other to kind of do that
think that's the height we want this. So in the future, I won't go any lower, but I am, I'm about 216 beavers and I'm starting to notice some lag when I do things, which tells me that the game is not very optimized for a, a banished style game. Cause usually I can get up around a thousand before I start noticing that. Now let's get those in. And my farm is ready. Let's uh let's mark this one right here. So we've got four days until the potatoes are adult, which would be probably when we can separate this off. So I'll probably bring you back in four days. Alright, this area is 92% for the growth. I think this is time that we we look at because we've got a good amount of water here. We've got Nine total unemployed beeves around our district. Maybe we'll we'll get a few more. Now we can start with nine because we only need two, four, five, six, seven. Ooh, yeah, we'll wait for a few more. But this looks like it's actually going good. Ooh, we do have some area that is going to this area over here. It's coming along absolutely amazingly. I gotta say, I'm. I'm very happy with that, and that brings us to over here, uh, where I moved the water pumps, and we're ready to get rid of this section of water pumps here to uh, build that section of the actual the actual aqueduct. Uh, now, for anybody who's like, oh my gosh, that's wasteful, on the flip side, it's only wooden. Well... Who said wood grows on trees, right? I mean, really? All right, that area is all plotted in, so that can get building. I think we're going to have to make some minor adjustments over here in the future as we probably want a staircase up leading to this as I, my initial plan for this side of the actual aqueduct didn't have the walkway over. Uh, and then when I placed it in, I was like, wow, that actually looks good. Uh, they have made some progress over here, as well as I've added in a few more actual builder huts, just to kind of make things a little quicker, as we've got... Well, we had... Nine unemployed beavers, but by the time I filled these up, that those nine went quite a ways. Uh, we do need to plan on reopening these as soon as the water starts, so I mean, that's, that's going to be a thing. Uh, but I think we're in a good spot to kind of let things build up. I did plot out the next uh, little bit here, and we're ready to probably, since we've got our walkway down now, we're probably ready to clear out the majority of this section and start moving our, our actual breeding pods up top. The first thing that I want to move up top is I want to start moving water up top. Let's, uh, let's actually get this section of the, the aqueduct. I want it to be... Maybe water row, uh, so we'll we'll plan those out real quick, and and then I because everything is so spaced out for kind of the you know we've got our our plans for our new district over here, uh, which as I said, we, well you know all right let's let's go ahead and break it, let's uh let's break it here, uh, get our gatehouse. And put our district hall, and then I'll just start, because we've got 10 unemployed beefs. We'll just start sending over people little by little. Uh, this area won't have berries for a while, and that's going to be part of the issue. Uh, so we won't be able to breed anybody over here, but we'll be able to import them from other areas. Uh, so we'll get that. It's going to be district 10, and we'll change it later when we decide where we want it. Let's unpause those. And we'll send some people over. That way they, they can kind of build those last couple lumberjacks. And they can start building this section up here. Uh, 13. Uh, we just gained a few more. All right. Unemployed beeves. You will go over to District 10. Uh, some of those uh, came from the farm and some of the other things. Uh, let's uh, connect our water up. For some reason, that seems highly important, and we need two more for the the deep water pump and two more for the, the district center. The two for the district center is probably less important, and we'll do the same here. Let's send a total of 
We've got six. Let's go ahead and send all six. Yeah, it gives me four unemployed beeves, and that will fill up the, the lumberjacks as they get building. So, we'll place one in our district hall there. Yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm thinking that's a good start as we kind of go forward. Alright, but as I was saying, um, a lot of things are... We've got things going on over here, we've got things going on up here, we've got things going on over here, and we've got things going on over here. So I'm not going to do a time lapse as it's so spread out, I don't think that it would be very enjoyable because I'd get you'd get me bouncing around nonstop. But I'd like to thank you guys for joining, and we'll see you in Cycle 21 where hopefully we, we raise the water.